everybody. Come on into the classroom. It's nice to see you. Hello to Lincoln and Guinevere. Our friend Melody is ready to rock. Hello, Roxy in Indiana and Julia in Amsterdam. Hello. Hello to Bagya and Tulsi watching for the first time. Welcome to the classroom. Hi. A big hello to Akshviv and Akshitha. I hope I said your names right from the USA. Hi. Hello to Georgia and Carter. And hello to Prudence from Michigan. Hi, everybody. My little bug friends would like to say hello to all of you too. Hello. 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 Pop, pop, pop. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Bugs are really amazing creatures. And there's so, so, so many of them living on this earth. There's way more bugs than there are people. Isn't that incredible? Bugs might be small, but they are mighty. Just like this little caterpillar. Our friend Lillian Rose really loves caterpillars. She's going to see some at the butterfly garden. They're really amazing. What do you think about bugs? You can let me know. I think we're going to have a lot of fun exploring them today in the classroom. But first, let's wave a big hello to all our friends. We can wave hello to our bug friends. Hi. Hello. <laughs> and we'll wave hello to all our friends in the classroom too. That's you. All right. Let's see. Eli from South Africa's here. Hi, Eli. Hello to Enzo Ray in the Philippines. Hello to Salman and Khadija. Hi. Same in Kenza, say hi, and Arlo and Jonah, and Ireland and Cambridge, Annette and Thomas from Kansas are here. Let's wave our hands. We'll sing a big hello to all our friends in the classroom. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie. What's your name? Let's hear it. Shout it out nice and loud. Louder. Nice to meet you. Here we go, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello to Ellie and Emma. Hello, hello. Hello to Finale and Oliver. My name is Katie. What's your name? I see. Arayas and Raiden from South Africa, and Mio and Lola, Mia and Lola. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. Hi, everybody. Might be Mia and Lola or Maya and Lola. Hello to you, and hello to Mateo from the Philippines, and Zara. So nice to see all of you. We have lots of friends in the classroom today and lots of bugs. Look at all these beautiful bugs we have on the wall and all these colorful bugs here. Woof, so many. And there's so many different kinds of bugs too. It's really incredible. There's so much to know about all of them. Do you know what bug this is? Let's take a look. What bug is this one? What's that? It's an ant. That's right. This is the ant craft that we made during our episode all about ants. Ants are really strong bugs. Woo, so strong. They can lift over 5,000 times their body weight. That is a lot. They're super strong. And they can march. Let's see. Let's see a march. Get on there. March. March, 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 march. Look at them go. Can you march like our ant friend? March, 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 march. That's it. Videl knows it's an ant. Yeah, nice job. Zara says it's an ant. Eli and Zane says it's an ant. Let's march like our ant friend and we can sing a song about ants too. We'll sing the ants go marching. That's it. You can sing along with me 
and we can all march. Can you march like an ant? Yeah, let's do it. Eliana can. Leah loves ants. Let's march all together. March, march, march. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, the little one stops to suck his thumb. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah. Hurrah! The ants go marching two by two. The little one stops to tie his shoe. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching three by three. The little one stops to climb a tree. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. The little one stops to shut the door. Shut the door. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, the little one stops to take a dive. Whee! And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching six by six, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six. The little one stops to pick up sticks. <laughs> and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching seven by seven. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven. The little one stops to pray to heaven. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching eight by eight. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight. The little one stops to roller skate. Woo! And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching nine by nine, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine. The little one stops to check the time. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching ten by ten, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching ten by ten, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching ten by ten. The little one stops to shout, the ends! Hooray! Whew! That was a lot of ants. Nice job. Give yourselves a big clap, everybody. Rosalie was marching with us. Bella and Gabriel and Gideon is marching. Such a fun song. Gideon says, He's a fast ant. Oh, Pa is a fast ant. When Georgia and Carter like the roller skating part. Woo. It's a fun one. Yeah, you got to get a little silly. Ezra's shouting, hooray, hurrah, hurrah. Nice work, everyone. Adelaide is marching in her monster feet slippers. Very nice. So if you'd like to make an ant craft, a marching ant craft like this, we have all the details up on our website. You can also watch the ant episode if you like, and the link is in the description below so you can follow along and make your own ant craft. But let's make a brand new bug craft in the classroom today. Like this one. Look at this. 
Ooh, is that a beautiful craft? It's 3D, it pops out. Very neat. I'll show you how you can make one like this at home. Here we go. For this craft, we're going to need a colorful piece of paper, which I have right here. You can use any color you like. I'm gonna use this bright yellow um, paper. We got lots of yellow in the classroom. So let's make a yellow bug. To start, we're gonna just fold it in half. Try and line up the edges as much as you can. We'll fold it and then unfold it. And we're gonna use scissors to cut down this crease. So I have some scissors here. We'll cut down that line. So we have two equal halves. There we go. Then we take these two sheets of paper and we'll put them on top of each other again, like this. And then you can fold them this way to make a round bug, or you could fold them this way to make a longer bug. I think I'm gonna make a round bug. Let's try a nice round bug. So we'll just fold this in half again. Oof, it's gonna get a little harder to fold because we have more pieces of paper. So now it kind of looks like a book. It's like that. Then we just draw the shape or half of the shape that we want our bug to be like. You can use just a marker. And if we want our bug to be a big circle, we're gonna draw half of what we want our bug to be along the fold. So we'll start the fold. We'll draw a circle, half a circle like that. And we cut that out. That's gonna be our bug body. There we go. Cut all the way around. And you can make a longer bug, so it might be like a half rectangle shape. There we go. And then unfold them, and we have two bug body shapes. Make sure that you have the, um, the part that you traced, put that on the bottom side so we don't see it. We're gonna fold these back up, so go like that. And we're gonna put them next to each other with the folds. We have the two folds, so we're gonna put those like that. And that's gonna be our bug body, looking pretty cool. Now we gotta make the bug legs and the bug head. So to make those, we'll just use a piece of black construction paper. We can cut out our bug head shape. And it can be any kind of shape you like. I'm gonna make kind of a circle shape. So I'm gonna do a half circle. And make sure to leave some space at the bottom for your paper to glue, because we're gonna glue it like that. So we need a little spot underneath for the glue. And we'll add some legs. I have some legs here that I already cut. So you can cut the legs all in one go. We'll just cut these off here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. And then just make sure to leave some space. Again, so you have some area to glue it. So I got all these legs and I got its head. I got my glue stick. And we can glue all this on. So let's see. We'll do like this. Yeah, maybe like this. Yeah, we'll do three legs on one side and three on the other side. We had another episode all about bugs. Maybe you saw it, it's called Creepy Crawly Bugs. And in that episode, we learned that insects have six legs. All insects have six legs, but there's lots of different kinds of bugs that don't have six legs. But in order to be called an insect, they have to have six legs. So we're gonna put these on the back of our bug. So like this, we'll take the glue, glue it on. Got nice buggy legs that can crawl around. <laughs> there we go. Got one half. We'll add some to the other half too. Some glue. And we got this side like this. We'll add them to this side. Right? Yes. 
this? Yes. <laughs> That'll do. Add them right there. And you can get as many legs as you like for your bug. You can make an insect and have six legs. But some bugs have hundreds of legs, tons and tons of legs. You can try those too. All right, I'm gonna add some glue to our bug's head. Now this part, you gotta carefully line up your bug like this and add it, add your head like that. There we go. We've got a bit of a lopsided bug, that's okay. Now we can add some eyeballs to our bug. We got some different kinds of eyeballs here. What about these googly eyes? Those are funny. Might be a little too big for our bug. What about these ones? <laughs> Those are fun eyes too. They might be a little small. Let's try the medium ones. Oh, I like those. Yeah? Let's do the medium ones. They're just right. <laughs> Ellie says spiders have eight legs. That's right. The spiders are a kind of bug, but they're not an insect because they don't have eight legs. Isn't that interesting? We'll add some glue to our googly eyes. There we go. Put those eyes on there. <laughs> Now to keep our bug together, because right now he still has that little slit down the bottom, we're gonna make a leaf for our bug to live on. That'd be a nice spot for our bug to live. Put these eyes back in here. There we go. And to make our leaf, we're gonna take a big green sheet of paper, whoof, and we'll fold that in half too. And you can fold it this way, or you can fold it this way, depending on the shape of the leaf you'd like to make in half and now we'll just draw half of a leaf shape so maybe start our leaf there like this and that's gonna be half of our leaf shape when we cut it out we'll have a big leaf shape like this Woo! look at this big leaf this will be a perfect spot for our bug to live look at that so we'll add some glue to the back of our bug so we can hang out on our leaf. Lots of bugs like to live on leaves and among the plants. There we go. Some glue to the back. Flavi likes playing with the glue. The gluey glue. So we'll add our bug right there on the leaf. And now we can decorate our bug. It looks super cute. You can decorate your bug any way you like. You can use markers. I got some markers here. Or you could use stickers. That could be really neat. You might like to take a look at some bugs around where you live or take a look at some pictures of bugs in a book. And you can try and make those different kinds of bugs. Or you can make up a whole new kind of bug from your imagination. That would be really cool too. Let's do, I'm gonna do some, I think some green dots on this bug, maybe. Let's try, I'll do a big green circle. There, maybe another one here. Ooh, that one's really big. Different sizes of green circles. Maybe another one over here. Let me know what kind of Way should I decorate this bug? We can try some different stuff. It'll be a whole new kind of bug that we've discovered. And maybe I'll do an outline with some red. That could be interesting. Some red and green. Maybe a Christmas bug. There we go. Eli says it needs some spots. Yeah, we're adding some spots to it. Some red around there. Oh, it looks pretty cool. A colorful bug. All around. Maybe a bug would look pretty good with some stripes. Yeah. You can give it some different colors too. Look at that. 
Because the neat thing about this bug craft is you can do some different kinds. You can fold this over and do another kind. Oh, Georgia says we should do some heart shapes. That's a good idea. Let's use this pink marker. We can make some heart shapes on our bug. A heart bug, because we love bugs so much. It'd be very interesting to find a bug like this out in the woods, wouldn't it? With heart shapes? That would be really cool. There we go. Some heart shapes, that's nice. Well, one of our friends is saying, how about some stars? How about some heart and stars? We can add some stars with a blue marker. Ooh, look at that. A heart and star bug. <laughs> That's pretty silly. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, you can try doing all different kinds of bug designs with the 3D bug craft. How about one more right here? Yeah, let's do that. And we still have one more side to decorate. Whoop, whoop. If you do dots on each one, this is also a great counting activity. So you can make all these different dots and then practice counting all the dots on the different sides. It's a fun little thing you can do. Okay, what else should we decorate it, everybody? Flavi says stripes like bees have. So we'll use our black marker. Let's add some stripes. Whoosh. Yeah, bees are yellow with black stripes. Look at that. <laughs> this bug looks pretty silly. His eyes are like, what's going on? What's happening? <laughs> there we go. Look at that. It does kind of look like a bee. Some black stripes. Yeah, Julia says, oh, we should use some glitter. I wish I had some glitter. That's a great idea. You should make a glitter bug. How about some polka dots, some more polka dots? Let's maybe use this blue color. We'll add some little polka dots on our bug. Maybe every other one. Some bugs have all sorts of amazing designs, really amazing looking designs. Some polka dots there. How about some squiggly lines? Can you use this green one? Make some squiggle, 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 squiggle. Woo! He kind of looks like a Christmas ornament. That's a Christmas ornament bug. <laughs> Sanchez has some flowers. Okay, let's just add some little flowers up here. Little flowers. It's a beautiful bug. So nice. How about one little flower down here? Yeah. My little, my little um, pink flower. I really like our bug. We made all sorts of different designs and you can make your bug look however you like. This bug is certainly pretty funky, isn't it? Yeah. If you try it at home, I'd love to see how you do your bug. Maybe you'll add stickers or some glitter. That would be really cool. If you do, please send me a picture. We love to see all the crafts that you end up doing at home and all the stuff that you get up to at home too. Let's take a quick look at some of the photos that our friend sent in this past week. Let's see. Look, it's our friend Benjamin. Benjamin has been trying some new foods. Last week, we talked all about trying new things. So he's trying some new foods. Good for you, Benjamin. Our friend Eliana made our Chinese inspired dragon craft. It looks beautiful. Our friend Parker from Canada is trying some new things too. He's trying sleeping in a new kind of bed and look at all the stickers he has from his potty training. You're doing awesome, Parker. His face sure is excited about it too. <laughs> our friend Sarah from Spain made our Chinese inspired dragon craft. Looks so great. I like the purple and its eyes too. Look at her looking over there. Our friend Gabby from the USA is making pizza with us from our pizza episode. That was really fun. Looks delicious. Our friend Rona from the UK, she is amazing at Irish dancing. She's showing off her Irish dance costume. She learned some new things there too. It's beautiful costume, Rona. Super colorful. 
Our friend Santiago is getting ready for Christmas. Hi, Santiago. Looks like a beautiful tree. We have some Christmas surprises coming up in the classroom soon too. Our friend Vivan from India, he's still shared our um, some Halloween photos. So he's dressed up as Coco for Halloween and has a bat. He made the bat craft. Very spooky. Our friend Alexandra and Maxim are dressed up for Halloween too. They're a pirate and this pirate caught a beautiful fairy. Julia and Dora, that's the dog's name, are dressed up for Halloween too. Such great costumes. So cute when you can dress your pet up. Our friend Fahid from Brazil made a turkey craft at school. It's American Thanksgiving coming up and he made this at school and I thought it was really cool. So I wanted to show our friends here in the classroom. Nice job, Fahed. Our friend Sophia from Costa Rica is practicing her potty training. Look at that cute smile. She's got some stickers up there already. Way to go, Sophia. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Our friend Penny from the USA is ready to rock and roll. She's rocking out with her ukulele while we sing. That's so cool. Our friend Hannah dressed up as a character from Canada. Look at that. We, um, we're, I'm from Canada, our classroom's in Toronto. So she was all excited to show us. And there she is with her brothers and sisters, her sisters from um, doing all different costumes. Our friend Ian and Allegra from Spain are watching, hanging out in the classroom. Look how big that TV is. I've never been so big. It's awesome. You feel like you're really in the classroom there. <laughs> Our friends Solomon and Khadija were making our bird crafts too. So they made our parrot crafts and our baby bird crafts. They turned out awesome. Thanks so much for sharing those photos with us, everybody. We always love seeing what you're up to at home. And if you have a photo that you'd like to share with us, you can send it to us a couple different ways. Through Facebook, we have a Katie's Classroom Facebook page. You can just message it to us through our inbox there and I'll get it or on Instagram, I'm at Super Simple Katie, or through our website on our contact page, and all of those links are in the description. So you can just click and send, and then maybe you'll see them in the classroom next week. And I can't wait to see what kinds of things you do with your bug to make it all sorts of interesting designs. And this bug, let's see, it has one, two, three, four, five, six legs, so it's an insect. But do you know what kind of bug has eight legs? We were talking about it earlier, one of our friends knows. Yeah, Minerva likes to say spider. Yeah, a spider has eight legs. Can you make an itsy bitsy spider like this? Yeah, I'll show you a trick for making this itsy bitsy spider. So we start with two hands like this in an L shape with one finger pointing up and our thumb pointing out like that on both sides. There we go. And take one of your hands, put it across your body like this, the other one whoop, upside down to make a rectangle shape like that with our fingers and thumbs touching here and fingers and thumbs touching there. Then we twist and our fingers and thumb touch up here, fingers and thumb touch up there and the spider can crawl up the water spout, just like that. Can we try it together? So we have two L shapes like this. That's it. You put one across your body like that, one over like that. So we have our fingers and thumbs touching. Then twist, finger and thumb, finger and thumb, finger and thumb, just like that. And if that's too tricky, you can just put your finger and thumb together like this go like that. That's good too. Yeah. Let's sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider all together and you can follow along with me with your little Itsy Bitsy Spiders. Oh, Aurora's doing the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Very nice. Okay, let's put our two fingers together, fingers and thumb. Got your little spiders ready? Okay, let's try. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. 
Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Hooray! Nice job, everybody. All right, let's sing it a couple more times together. I'm going to get the guitar. And you can do those hand movements that we learned and follow along. Eli is trying very hard to do the itsy bitsy spider. It could take a little bit of practice. You could always go like this, too. All right. You have your spiders ready, everybody? Are they ready to climb up the water spouts? All right, sing with me. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spouts. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Nice job. Ooh, Addie likes the way we sing about the big spider. Can you make a big spider with your hands? You can make a big one like this. Whoa. And we'll sing in a low voice for our big, big, big spider. The big, big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the big, big spider went up the spout again. Whew, that's a big spider. <laughs> Can we make a teeny tiny little itty bitty baby spider so, so small, so, so tiny? And we can sing in a high voice like this. Should we try it? Do you have your baby spiders? Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the teensy weensy spider went up the spout again. So itty bitty baby. <laughs> All right, let's sing it one more time in our regular voices. And we can make our itsy bitsy spider movements. Are you ready, Philip? Yeah? Are you ready, Miles and Ace? Let's see your big spiders. Sing along with me. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Nice job, everybody. Hooray! That spider was persistent. Kept trying and trying, and then he made it. Give yourselves a big clap, everyone. Nice work. Bowie's trying to be the little spider. Oh, Ireland and Arlo like our... <laughs> it's fun to try doing different voices. Thanks for singing with me. Spiders are really amazing little insects, aren't they? Yeah, they can make some beautiful spider webs. Have you seen spider webs around where you live? Sometimes you can see one and it's all perfectly done. It's really beautiful. Do you know the story of Little Miss Muffet? Well, in our version of Little Miss Muffet, she meets some spiders and they spin a big, beautiful web with a special message for her. Let's take a look and see what happened to Little Miss Muffet at the Paper Puppet Playhouse. Let's go. Paper Puppet Playhouse presents Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a toffet, eating some curds and whey. Mmm, curds and whey? Yum, yum! Along came a spider who sat down beside her. Hello, mind if I sit here? And frightened Miss Muffet away. Oh, mmm! Curds and whey, yum, yum. 
Little Mr. Spider, who had sat down beside her, was now eating the curds and whey. Along came his mother, his father, and brother, and said, Share with us, us okay? okay? <whistles> Yummy. Yummy. Mm, yummy! When they'd had their fill, they hopped to the sill and spun together a web. It said, we hate to be rude, so thanks for the food. And with that, they all went to bed. When little Miss Muffet went back to the tuffet, she saw what the spiders did spin. Ooh, look at that. And from that moment there, she would never be scared of the spiders ever again. What a nice story. Hooray, those spiders said such a nice message to them. No need to be scared. Bella and Gabriella once saw big spiders, or maybe spider webs, at a national park. That's amazing. And Salman and Khadija once saw a huge tarantula. Whew, those would be the big, big spiders. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, nice job. Tulsi loves the little baby spider. So fun. Such a great story, Little Miss Muffet. At first, she was scared of the spiders, but then they turned out to be really nice. If you ever see a bug and you're not so sure of it, we should always just give it lots of space and just try and leave it alone. Mm -hmm. But a lot of bugs can be really nice. Bzzz. Like this one. Do you know what this is? Bzzz. A honeybee. Honeybees make delicious honey and they help us grow fruits and vegetables and flowers. They're really important. Bzzz. Can you make a bee like this? Bzzz. Where's it going? Bzzz, all over the place. Uh-oh. Where did the bee go? It's on my nose? Oh. I'd better stay very still. Bzzz. Where's the bee now? Did you see where it went? Where'd it go? It's on my head. Uh-oh, I better stay very still. Bzzz. Look where it is now. It's on my shoulder. Hello, little bee. Hi. Bzzz. The bee went into the beehive. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. Here they come, flying out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Back in the beehive. Can you make a beehive like this? Yeah, Arlo loves the beehive song. Let's sing it together. You can make a beehive and follow along with me. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees hiding away? where nobody sees. Here they come, flying out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Look at them go. Bzzz. Buzz up high. Bzzz. Buzz down low. Bzzz. Buzzing fast. Bzzz. 
buzzing slow. Buzz to the left. Buzz to the right. Over here. Buzz all day, but sleep at night. Shh. The bees are sleeping. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding away where nobody sees. Here they come, flying out of their hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Bye, bees! <laughs> That was lots of fun. Give yourselves a big clap. Minerva's waving her arms all over. Bzzz, buzzing bees. And Sophia Minzy's buzzing around the room. Edison's following along. Jeremy's laughing. It's lots of fun. That's one of my very favorite songs. Bzzz, to buzz around. It's a great fun. Bees might buzz all around us. Bzzz, like that. But they usually, they don't want to bug us. Bzzz. Get it? Bug? Bug us? Oh, <laughs> Bzzz. a little joke. Bzzz. Let's play a game with the bees. Let's, set, let's play ABC Buzz. So this game, we sing the ABCs, but if we see a B in the window instead of a letter, then we're going to buzz like a bee and wiggle our bodies like this. Bzzz. <laughs> but before we start playing, let's practice our ABCs first. We'll sing our alphabet for a little warm-up. Are you ready, everybody? Okay, let's sing along to our ABCs. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me hooray nice job cora and isla are singing now let's get ready to play colson and reina love this game so this time we'll sing our abcs but if we see a b instead of a letter we're gonna buzz and make some wiggly bum noise, wiggly, a wiggle. We're gonna wiggle. We're gonna wiggle our bodies like a bee. We'll go bzzz like that. Can we practice that? Let's try it together. Ready? Bzzz. Okay, I think we're ready. Keep an eye out for the bees, everyone. Here we go. <laughs> a. Game. Nice work, everyone. Do you think we could try it again with even more bees? It might get a little bit tricky. Do you want to try it? Okay, let's try it, everybody. Keep an eye out for the bees. Here we go. A, B, C, B, D, E, F, G, H, I. 
J K L M O P Q R S U V W Y and Z. Oh, that V was trying to sneak in there at the end. What a sneaky little V. Whew. Nice job. Give yourselves a big clap, everybody. Georgia is buzzing. Arthur and Franklin are wiggling and buzzing. And Julia's buzzing. Nice job, everyone. It could get a little bit tricky. You did an awesome job. It's a lot of fun. There's so many different kinds of bugs out there. So many amazing different things that they can do. I had a lot of fun exploring them in the classroom with you today. It's time for us to sing our goodbye song for now, but I'll see you next week for lots more fun and games and songs in the classroom next week. I'll see you then, everybody. But now let's wave our hands. Can you wave? And we'll sing a big goodbye to all of our friends. A goodbye, goodbye. to Ethan and Addie and Aurora and Oliver and Julia and Henry and Jeremy and Kristen and Melody and Eleanor and Oliver and Ireland. Here's a big mwah for you. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Dean and Salomon and Khadija. Goodbye to Amelia Ivana, who's turning five, or she turned five. Happy birthday, Amelia Ivana. Fifth birthday, that's exciting. Goodbye to Ethan in Indonesia and Kristen in Texas. Goodbye to Georgia and Carter in Vancouver and Minerva and Maisie in New Orleans. Goodbye to Majid and Philip and Santiago and Aurora and Brooklyn, Lyndon and Kenzie and our friend Rona. A goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Stormy in Portland, our friend Gideon and Aksitha. I hope I said your name right. Goodbye to Vinny in New Brunswick and Isabella from Guatemala. Goodbye to Hannah, Haley, Heidi, Holly, and Hudson. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Arlo, Arlo and Jonah. Bye, Arlo and Jonah. Bye, Sanchez. Goodbye to Zara from Newmarket. Goodbye to Akvish, and I'll try it again, Akshitha. Akshita, goodbye to Ciara and Chester and baby brother Corbin. Goodbye, Flavi and baby brother Hector from Poland. Goodbye to Cora and Isla. Goodbye, Bowie and Eve and Wyatt from Alabama. And Wesley in Ohio. We'll see you soon. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Bye, Shiloh. Bye to all our friends. See you next week, everybody. We'll see you soon.